If you enjoy these videos, please like and subscribe. Today I'm playing the Brotherhood with Magneto leading. He's bringing Scarlet Witch, Sabretooth, and Cassandra. This is our debut with Cassandra, so we're really excited to see what she can bring to the table. Now I'm kind of going out of my comfort zone here by playing only four people. Uh, generally that kind of concerns me, but I do believe Brotherhood is one of those few teams that can pull that off. Plus all four of my people are super heavy hitters. Uh, the name of the game here is to get priority every round though. Uh, so that's the goal. We'll see what happens with that one. Uh, I know Nikki's bringing a very powerful team with her X-Men. She's very skilled with all of them, except for she hasn't played Cable very much. Uh, but he can really bring some damage to the table. So very concerning. But again, if anyone can do it, the Brotherhood can. My team tactic cards are Exceptional Healing, Magnetic Refraction, Whims of Chaos, Mental Domination, and Bitter Rivals. So all these cards are actually pretty much designed to help support my four people. Bitter Rivals is going to hopefully negate some dice uh, for defenses. Uh, Mental Domination, that's the Jean Grey or Cassandra only card. Uh, not sure if I'll be able to pull that one off. I want to try, but I'm not going to go out of my way because every time I do, that ends up going way against me. Uh, Exceptional Healing, now that's one that Nathan from the Gamers Guild mentioned would be really good with Cassandra, and I believe he's right. It's going to hopefully keep her alive. It's not meant for Sabretooth, it's meant for her in this game. The other cards, again, we've seen them all before. If they come up, we'll talk about them a little bit. But overall, I think this is going to be a very challenging game. And I'm looking forward to see what we can do against uh, Nikki and her X-Men. Today, I am playing X-Men with Storm as the leader, Cyclops, Jean Grey, Domino, and Cable. Um, I'm really looking forward to this game. Andy's playing Brotherhood and uh, they're really hard to take out, so I need to bring my A game. Um, all of Andy's uh, players are really powerful, um, so I think it's gonna be a really fun game. My team tactic cards are Disarm, Trip Up, Psychic Shielding Device, Gene, and Children of the Atom. I've played all these cards before, um, I figure Psychic Shielding Device might come in handy with all the mystic attacks going around. Um, I've had a lot of luck with the Gene card. Um, however, I'm not bringing Wolverine this time, so we'll have to see if, uh, if Cyclops can do as good a job as Wolverine. Um, Children of the Atom, uh, Scarlet Witch um, with her Hex Bolt. She has a lot of um, special conditions flying around, so um, hopefully it'll be a, a really fun game.
Well, hello, Nikki. Hello, Andy. It is delightful to see you here again. Yes, you too. All right. Come here often. I do. <laughs> All right. So I actually got priority this game, which is pretty essential for me because I only have four people um, and I need priority every round when possible. So luckily I did roll. I got it. Um, this is going to be an interesting game, uh, especially uh, with Cassandra now. We've never really tested her. Uh, so here we go. Uh, round one priority again. And I'm going to start by placing down Magneto's first metal construct, just a little bit ahead of him. And I'm going to go ahead and move Sabretooth because uh, he's a long mover. I didn't know if Magneto actually would reach everything I needed to. I need to be able to get to that Terrigen Mist to at least uh, challenge it with you. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in my way. <laughs> right. So, moving Cyclops, um, and I was really wanting to get a shot at Sabretooth, but that truck is blocking him. Can't see him. Yeah, it's not as easy to see from this perspective, but when you're top down, like right here, it looks, yeah, you've got a good shot. Yeah. But we're about ready to see it overhead, and you can see quite clearly there is no shot. So, uh, change of plans. I'm going to move him up there by the Terrigen Mist. Yeah, your boy's going to have to get a melee for once. Get I know. I was saying this. Oh, yeah. You let me go again. Or you told me to go I told again. told you to go <laughs> <laughs> So Domino is going to do the um, the attack. Grenade lob. I didn't realize it was a range four. I guess I thought it was a range three. Yeah, it's nice long range. Um, and I believe it's uh, in, he gets incinerated. You, no matter what, you get incinerated. So even if I don't do any damage, he'll still be incinerated. I was telling Andy this completely stressed me out. All of the my players on my team, I usually keep them back a little bit, see what's going on, um, and they all had to kind of be up front and center this game. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I really don't hear the sincerity in that, Andy. What? You don't hear the sincerity in my voice of how sad I am for you? So it looks like he... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry to interrupt your sarcasm, but... <laughs> Uh, it looks like he took a couple of damage. You, I did. I, uh, yeah. Um, I do not do a good job of saving this game. So I'm going to start by uh, using uh, Fatal Attraction to start wrecking some terrain to get power build up. Uh, so one power to each of my people. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and move Sabretooth. I'm sorry, not Sabretooth. I'm going to move Magneto up to Sabretooth. And again, I'm glad I grabbed that mist because I am not going to be close enough to grab that with uh, Magneto or contest it with him as well. Um, in fact, I realized there's no point in being up this close, so I scooch back a little bit. Scooch back. I realized I probably could have maybe done an attack here, but alas, I was just not concentrating that much on that. All right, so there's Cable. Um... <clears throat> Never played cable before. Um, but if, you know, any time that I've ever seen him played, I'm always like, why do people move him up so close? Blah, blah, blah. You know, and of course, I have to move him up yeah. um, in this game. There's just no holding back. So you use your leadership ability to scooch him up a little bit. Yeah, I did. Um, you were getting so frustrated. Oh, my gosh. Really. Yeah, I wanted to get him up by the Terrigen Mist. And of course, with his giant base why is this base so big <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah. um so yeah can't get him up there change of plans this whole first round was very frustrating for me <laughs> i was not enjoying it at all all right so i'm going to start with Cassandra, or go with Cassandra next i should say and she's just going to move up and grab that civilian i am sure that civilian is safe with her oh She's, yes, absolutely. She's only a psychic parasite. Maybe. So if you're not, <laughs> psychic parasites are great babysitters. <laughs> yes, I'm sure the civilian just wet his or her pants. But, right. yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, Storm. Moving her up by the mist. Hey, guys. They're always so dramatic. Like that. She always has the fabulous. Yes, hair she looks fabulous. <laughs> All right, so now Scarlet is moving up. Um, 
keeping her behind the building. Do not want to uh, start anything just yet. <laughs> they're all big... they're all peeking at each I other know, over the taco like, What's truck. Up over there? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't move, they can't see you. <laughs> okay, so Jean. I really like playing Jean. So I think I just keep her there. Yeah, you, you decided there was no point in moving her too close because she was going to be in danger. Uh, but yeah, four to two. Uh, not too high scoring round, but uh, so the miss gets moved. And uh, I'm sorry, not, that miss does not get moved. Uh, but both Cable and Storm take a damage. And then Cable and uh, Sabretooth do. I'm sorry, Cyclops and Sabretooth. So no moving mist this nope, round. No moving, but everyone but Cable ended up getting poisoned because he's immune to it. Yay, Cable. And round two. Start out by uh, throwing something. That sounds like fun. So I'm going to... It really doesn't sound that, like that. That look on your face makes me believe you don't believe the fun of throwing <laughs> taco trucks at people. So I throw the taco truck at Cable because that's just what Scarlet Witch does. It's only fun if I throw it. You took a good portion of that and got some hot sauce in your eye. Uh, give that power to Magneto, Scarlet Witch, and Cassandra because they're going to need it. Uh, now I'm going to do a Chaos Bolt to Cable. And I'm a, I, you've played Scarlet Witch more than I have, so I'm still getting used to all her rules. I knew from the get-go skulls were good, but I forgot also at the same time that skulls are good. So, But you remembered. I do remember. Yeah, when I and I remembered the whole time yeah. because I've played her a lot. So so, so he stays. Yeah, this was a frustrating moment yeah, for me. Cable just Cable. never seems to do well. Well. Not when it comes to defense. Yeah, like I said, he just, this was that kind of game. <laughs> So now I'm attacking Storm, but she's got cover and a telekinetic shield. So not too shabby there. Uh, yeah, you roll pretty well. I was like, stop rolling. You got it. I, I assure you, you got it. <laughs> so it's blocked. Yeah, it's blocked. Actually, she, she should always roll all the way through. But because, oh, I'm sorry, no. I for, Again, I forgot the skulls are hits. And they actually each oh, cause a status right. effect. Mm -hmm. So she's incinerated in a text. Yeah, she's not doing well. So um, I choose to go ahead and play her before she gets dazed. Um, so one, two, three, and you block zero. But I am shocked. Oh, and I am shocked, I should say. All right, so Ice Blizzard, this is a physical attack, and neither, uh, well, Cassandra has terrible physical defense. I can't remember what Scarlet Witch is. She's average. She's three. Um, so, but Scarlet Witch is stunned. We can't all be Jean Grey, three, four, five, Mickey. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, again, so I one damage, and you're stunned. Yeah, yeah. So they're both stunned. I would like to say they're both stunning, but we've seen what Cassandra looks like. She's not stunning. <laughs> Andy, that's rude. Seriously. <laughs> so it's Sabretooth against Cyclops now. Uh, hoping for that Pierce, just not seeing it. So yeah. no damage? No damage. I'm gonna try it again. Still no Pierce. And Nikki does her Nikki roll here, which blocks everything I do for damage. So, yeah. Save her tooth, you let me down. Bad kitty. <laughs> okay. Uh, optic blast on Saber tooth. Eh, four? You, you let me roll too many dice here. I'm sorry about that. Oh, yeah, that's right. You were incinerated. I am incinerated. Sorry, folks. But you blocked, you didn't block any anyway. I didn't block so, any so he's, so he's, the, he's dazed, but uh, that's after the attack is resolved. Uh, uh, so I move him back. I right, push, so push him back. The, the tool should have been straight. Sorry about that, but I did push him back. Um, and so now I'm going to do hit and run optic blast. Magneto hasn't gone. So. Cyclops is thinking 
So there's three damage. Cyclops is thinking um, if he doesn't get out of there, if he doesn't move back, um, Magneto is going to throw all kinds of stuff at him. Yeah, because one of the things we messed up early on in our, our videos was uh, if you're on top of a building and you throw something smaller, it's going to hit the building first. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. So this is the run part of my hit and run. I'm going back up on that building. Um, so if anything gets thrown his way, it won't hit him. Correct. All right. So Cassandra Nova, for the first time, at least in our game, is up. And I, I sadly had to move because I, I need to be able to hit the Terrigen Mist. Um, I thought that was the best spot to do it. I'm then going to do a Mind Possession on Storm. Hmm, that sounds ominous. It is. It could do some fun things. Um, if Jean Grey's not on the table. <laughs> uh, so, uh, great roll. Really good roll. Really <laughs> bad roll. Yeah, so you would have been moved, but you got dazed first. Okay, so moving uh, Jean up. I want her to be within three of Cassandra because Cassandra has stealth. Yep, psychic stealth, which is awesome. So uh, moving her up so I can at least see her. Now what you gonna do, Jean? Uh, she is going to do psionic bolt. Wish she could do that physical attack, but she doesn't have enough power. So sorry about that, Nikki. <laughs> so I'm not sure why I'm only rolling four die here. Four dice here. Your overconfidence has got ahead of you. <laughs> but regardless, I was going to use exceptional. Regardless, yeah. yes, you so used that card. I, I took one damage. <laughs> so. I'm going to throw a bus at you. Like any normal person does at that point. I'm just going to throw a bus at Scarlet Witch. Exactly. So luckily that skull counts as a block, but yeah, that was a hard hit to uh, Scarlet. Four damage. So yeah, you got power for it, but if if I didn't throw it, you were going to throw it. So Correct, may, as, may as well be me. Yeah. So there's not much I can do. Uh, Sabretooth did have a civilian. I had to drop it. Uh, Cyclops already had one, so he couldn't grab him. So Magneto is going to grab that civilian and keep him safe. <laughs> and then I'm going to use Magnetic Refraction, which is a great one. It gives me cover, basically. And it extends to Sabretooth if Sabretooth wasn't stunned. Or dazed. Or, I'm sorry, dazed. <laughs> Thank you. Correction, dazed. Okay, moving Domino down. I want her to be able to contest that mist. I don't want Andy to get the two points for that. You should. You should let me have it. I really shouldn't. <laughs> All right, well, that was a kind of brutal round. Um... But I ended up scoring five points that round. So uh, I believe you scored one. It's one of those flip-flop games. So now, because... Uh, because I have control of the mist, I get to move yeah. the mist. Well, I, I'm the one that had it, actually, I think. So. Oh, you had control, so I get to move it. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. All right, round three. Starting out again. Here we go again. Cassandra is going to start by hitting uh, Storm with some mind possession. That's just rude. She's jealous of her beautiful hair, I think. That's... <laughs> so I roll. Uh, not too bad. I, I, I block bit. fairly well, too, though. You block very well. But the beauty of this one, and the reason I did it, was it has a movement effect. Again, if you don't have Jean Grey on the board. And you wanted to move her because... Of my next tech coming up. So you shield-minded uh, Storm. Uh, at least I made you pay for it. Uh, so she does not get moved. I am going to use uh, Flesh Manipulation because this has a wild effect of explosion. So I wanted to be able to hit both. That just sounds so wrong. Right? <laughs> I mean, what exactly is exploding and hitting the other people? <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's a horrible roll. 
Folks, I wanted to show you what it could do. I apologize. My dice hate me today, evidently. They don't love Nikki much more. Um, she still took a damage or two. Yeah. Um, and okay. then you end up moving yourself. I know. I was like, oh, I guess I should have let him move me. Because <laughs> there was no explosion. You could have given me that moral victory there. Okay. So this is why I love Storm. Um, she's going to do Hurricane, uh, which is Area 2, I believe, with Eye of the Storm, which adds two dice. And I'm playing Trip Up just to be sassy. So she basically cut me, put lemon juice on it, then rubbed salt into that wound. <laughs> Okay, so at seven dice, um, and with the attack hurricane, flyers get an automatic one damage. That is an insane, insanely devastating attack. I, yeah, I tried to take her out. So I believe you got you dazed. just dazed me. Yeah, you yeah. dazed Scarlet Witch. So now Cassandra. Really good roll again for you. A really craptastic roll for me. And, and you're dazed. dazed. I didn't even have to roll for the no. crits. I was um, like, stop. Just stop. <laughs> <laughs> so Storm takes uh, one of the civilians, and then the other one is dropped. By Genie. Yeah, I lo like when Storm has a lot of power, and she's going up against flyers, it's really, it's, it's a pretty cool. She's pretty cool. She is. I mean, again, we saw her take out Doctor Strange that way before, so... So, like any good rational person, I don't get angry. I just throw dump trucks, or uh, trailers in this case, uh, at, at people named Domino. <laughs> who kind of saw it coming, so she took two damage mm. from it. Grabbed uh, three power, one for Magneto, Scarlet Witch, and Cassandra. But now here's the beauty of Magneto, who's in range two of Domino. Uh, reverse polarity. It's six dice, and I get to reroll all my attack dice, yeah. or any number of my attack yeah, dice. Yeah, that hurts. That's really awesome, especially with her probability manipulation, or I can't remember. Yeah, what it's too called. bad you didn't roll like all criticals. <laughs> <laughs> well, they still would have counted. I just wouldn't be able to get reroll. Oh yeah, you're right. So no, no criticals. But I do just enough here because you got poisoned to daze you. So good job, Magneto. Now I'm playing Magnetic Refraction again because uh, Brotherhood ability allows me to keep on playing that over and over again uh, if I pay for it. And I get away or get out of the way of any beam attack that may be coming from Scotty McScott Scott. Okay, so all Jean can do is just grab the civilian. There's really just nothing oh, else what am I to for do? her to do. I just annihilated everybody on that flank. <laughs> There's nothing at all to do with my time. <laughs> Why don't you work on reconnecting with your son? Well, we're chatting right now. How do you know we're not chatting? Hey. <laughs> Dad's over there getting attacked. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, again, where the game kind of throws me off. Um, even though it's a 3D board, it's treated as 2D. So even though I'm at the bottom of a building, I still, within range 2, can attack him. Although my attack is horrible, I don't do any damage, and I didn't get my wild. A wild hit to do uh, claw slash so I'm terribly sorry about that Andy yeah you, you sound it all right Cyclops this is why I got out of the range of uh, of a beam attack so I have cover and I've got I used uh, my telekinetic not telekinetic shield I used my my magnetic shield whatever so you took one yeah, I believe I taking one there Okay, Force so projection, that's it. I'm going to do a uh, hit and run. I need to get down there by that Terrigen Mist since uh, Domino's not there anymore. Or she's dazed. She got flattened. Scott, my boy. <laughs> Welcome to the Poison Circus. All right, so. Oh, it's Cable's turn. Um... So he's been reconnecting with mom. They've Stop been chatting. Me what to do, mom. <laughs> I'm a grown man. I've got a plasma rifle. I can do what I want. Uh, so Gene gives him the advice that, hey, go over there on the other side so that you can get Cassandra and Scarlet Witch in a beam attack later. That I'm, would be really fun, Cable. Wouldn't that be fun? I'm not going to do because you told me. It's, I'm doing it because I wanted you all along. <laughs> we could just totally play this out the whole game <laughs> <laughs> all right now you, uh, i'm moving that mist 
So Jean and Storm can suck poison for a little while. Um, and the other one is being contested by Magneto and, and Cyclops. So, wow, this is a flip-flop game. You scored five, I score one. Uh, it's just getting crazy. But everyone, we enjoy, or we invite you to enjoy a moment of zen with Nikki and Finnegan the cat. Wow, Andy. <laughs> oh, it's Finnegan. Yes, this is our cat. All right, starting with round four. I am going to make Jean Grey and Storm bitter rivals. Yes, folks, we're going back to high school level antics here. And we're going to start spreading rumor and innuendo, Nikki. Um, just like Cassandra to do something just, mean she, like that. You know, little known fact, she did not go to high school. Really? So this is her way of reliving those glory days that she never had. Even though, I don't know about most of you, I hated high school. So <laughs> never would want to go back. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so she is going to attack Jean Grey uh, with uh, flesh manipulation here, and I want to try to really lower her defenses, which is part of the reason I used uh, Bitter Rivals on her. So here we go, flesh manipulation on Jean Grey. Again, what I'm hoping for here is that wild for an explosive attack. Why? Because Storm, her Bitter Rival, is close by. And the roll. Come on, Andy. I just, yeah. There it is. Boom. Boom shakalaka, Nikki. <laughs> That's your flesh manipulation, flesh, huh? Yeah, I don't know what happened with the flesh there. But something blew up. Something creepy about these attack <laughs> names with Cassandra. I don't know. And it hit Storm in the eye because that was enough to take Storm out. So she is out of the game. Poor Storm. But she did good. She did a good game, Storm. She had a really good, good game. game. But no more leadership ability for you, which oh, doesn't man. really come into effect anyways. But So now I'm using Mind Possession on Jean Grey. And uh, not a bad attack. You don't really... Eh, you block one. So, But that was enough to take you down. Jean! Let's find out how Scott really feels about Jean Grey. Come on, Scott. Show us how you feel. I mean, you went all out. You went optic devastation on the old yeah. Magneto there. That's right, I did. Uh, hmm, Scott. 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 Really? Yeah. Again, he does not. It's proven. Love it's proven, like, guys. It, it, you've saw. If here. it was Wolverine, Magneto, Magneto would have been, been like yes. slashed all to pieces. So. <laughs> now it's Cyclops is kind of like uh, no I totally meant to take him out uh, watch this Gene no seriously watch this <laughs> yeah I Promising. didn't really feel like boosting that defense there I knew he was on one there side. so he you know he made up for it he's like I got him in the end Man, Gene. tripped there and he's like I have to tie my shoe and Scott's <laughs> like I dazed him so <laughs> So now you're going after Sabretooth here. Yeah, Sabretooth. Um, eh, one, two, three. You took two. two. Yeah. So I think I was getting a little bit disgusted by Sabretooth here. I messed up. So he should have used aggressive here. I know he should have used aggressive, folks. And then I could have used, uh, I could have counter, or used Untamed Fury, I think, uh, on Cyclops. I, I messed that up. So now it's time for uh, Scarlet Witch to attack uh, Cable with a cruel twist. Mm. Oh, the irony. So there's my skull, needed that. That's a good one for this one. Uh, not only does it count as a hit, but it, it's reality contortion. Which means I take one of your uh, blocks and turn it to a blank. Which is excellent. And then I throw something at you. I was actually just trying to make room so I could throw eventually that uh, size four at somebody. And it gave me a little bit of power. So I'm going to go grab that civilian. They're safe with Scarlet Witch. And you're up with Domino. You just grab that civilian. 
All right, Domino. What's she gonna do? Lucky shot. I had bad feelings about this from the get-go. I just, I just did not feel like this was gonna go well for me before you even rolled. So there's three, you blocked one. Yep. That's enough. Oh, I paid to change the skull to yeah, a crit. Probability manipulation. And there's your next There's my other one. So I think he's... Uh, yeah, he's out. He's out. He's out. And now you're going with Cable. All right, plasma rifle. And that means he's in, or she's incinerated too, right? Right. You hit my mom. <laughs> but I think you blocked it. But I am on fire. All right, body slide to get him over there by the mist. And plasma rifle again. He doesn't get poisoned, so he's doing fine yeah, by that mist. Yep. Oh, that was pretty good. Yeah, I rolled again too many dice here. I'm sorry. Uh, I was incinerated. And that's in the round four. Getting close. All right, round five. Hey, I got yeah. priority. Really? Yes. Shocking. Now I'm just going to start throwing crap at you. So, folks, I, I invite you to your mind theater here for this round. Think of the end of Godfather during the christening scene. That's basically <laughs> what's about to happen here on this flame. Let's put in some, uh, some church music going on as <laughs> Magneto... Starts to take everybody some, out on this well, side. organ music? Yeah, some organ. I haven't seen Godfather in a long time. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. There goes Domino. There goes Domino. I'm sorry, that was Scott. This is Domino. Okay. But Domino's about ready to go bye-bye, too, with that roll, Nikki. You did turn that into a crit. I tried. So yeah, that left flank is mine. <laughs> I rescued the civilian for Very two points. Very sad looking. Yeah. So you rescued the civilian. Yep. Okay, Jean Grey's gonna go after Scarlet Witch. I believe Scarlet Witch is holding a civilian. Yes, yes she is. Wow. Pretty darn good. One, wow. two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you six. hit me with the most powerful deck you got. Ow. You did a pretty good. Uh, so she took three, I believe. One, two, uh, three, one, two, four, three. five, six, seven. No, she took four. I took four, yeah. yeah. And I was poisoned, so I went, I, I'm out. And I dropped that civilian. Okay. So, so you th what we so that attack allowed you to throw. Yeah, before Scarlet. damage is dealt, you can throw. And you threw her at a Cassandra, which is what we were just talking about there. But I used telekinetic deflection, so Cassandra took no damage from the throw. And now you're getting me with a psionic bolt. Oh yeah. I guess she used all of her... Um, all, all of the juice on yeah. that last attack. <laughs> She's like, I'm exhausted, guys. <laughs> now I'm going to mentally dominate Cable. This may not have been the best move, but it was a fun move, folks. Um, so yeah, because I, I didn't play that card when I had it. No, you didn't. Um, so, I t it, again, this whole thing maybe was a big mistake. But here we go. Let's see what happens. Your, your uh, physical is weaker than your mystic, obviously, so... Yeah, and you're using uh, Cable to attack Gene. Correct. The attack comes from Cable himself. 
And like I said, I can reroll any of your defense, or make you reroll any of your defense dice. So I have you reroll those. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. Yeah, so you are KO'd. I took you out of the game. So Jean's KO'd. So how are you going to handle that, Nikki? Yeah. Um, so you're going to move her. Yeah, I wasn't close enough to grab. Oh, that was so frustrating. Okay, watch this, guys. I'm going to go rescue that poor, helpless civilian that wants to get away from Cassandra. And run free, civilian. <laughs> and, and scene. <laughs> and Good scene. Good game. <laughs> <laughs> Good game. Congratulations on a well-fought battle. Yeah, uh, that was intense. That was insanely intense. Yeah. Not only was it a hard battle, but it's, we're battling the heat here in Arkansas. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I, I admit it. I honestly thought I had a really good shot at winning at the end. I, I, I kind of thought win. I had it. Yeah, I thought you were going to win. It really was um, Cable had enough power to release the civilian. Who would have thought end. Cable? Yeah. Um, and when I first, because I think when uh, Jean Grey took out Scarlet Witch, yeah. and I was like, okay, I'm going to grab the civilian, but I didn't have enough power to do anything else but grab it. And I was like, oh, well, maybe I should wait and let Cable get it. But I was afraid you'd take out Cable before he could get it. Yeah. So I went ahead and picked it up, which now I'm glad I did. But Yeah, I, it was one of those things that I potentially could have moved Cable closer so that Cassandra would have had the follow-up attack on him. But I wasn't convinced I could do that, especially since you had enough power to use your telekinetic shield. Um, and then that would have denied me the points from the Terrigen Mist. So yeah, that was hard. I mean, I went, after I took out Domino and had kind of dominated the other side of the board, <laughs> I thought, yes, yeah. this is I it. I kind of thought it was over with <laughs> I was I saying don't... to Andy, it just completely stressed me out because all of my players are the ones that I usually hold, like keep them back, um, attack from afar. And I couldn't do that with the Terrigen Mist. Um, and then just, I think honestly that Cyclops uh, leadership would have been better in this one. Maybe. Crazy. It's, wow. It's crazy, but we were always within two, usually. Yeah, that was so a very cover, close one. The cover didn't matter. And then um, the other part of her uh, ability, I, I kind of forgot a couple of times. So, but yeah. And Storm, she really came through for me this game. I really liked her. She Anytime she can do Hurricane on the yeah. flyers, always works well for me. I wasn't even thinking about that. In a lot of games I will, you know, off the bat think, okay, what flyers do I have? And Storm is dangerous. Doctor Strange from way back, Storm was the reason Doctor Strange ended up getting taken yeah. out and I lost that game to them. Because you know, they're gonna get at least one damage. Absolutely, I think yeah. It's, it's, it's a guaranteed yeah, one damage. Yeah, it's a guaranteed one damage. So yeah, when you so. took out both of them, I mean, that's not as awesome as when Deadpool dances and takes people out like that, <laughs> but it is cool nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was just, the moment where I started to not panic, but just get a little bit like, ugh, was when you disarmed Sabretooth. Because he still had some work to do over there. <laughs> yeah. And when he's down to three dice to do that, that's not good. Especially when you're dealing with Domino, who can screw with your dice, uh, or your reroll, or your crits, I should say. Uh, and maybe I could have taken out Cyclops, but I wasn't 100% sure on that one either. But uh, yeah, that was. That was crazy. So that was kind of the moment where I started to get a little concerned when uh, when you took out, or when you disarmed Sabretooth. But again, I thought that last round, 
I was calculating it, see how many civilians I could rescue. I was gonna rescue with Scarlet Witch. I totally forgot about rescuing. So I just got wrapped up in the game. So. And, and for the record, we do realize that's a restricted card, but that was the only restricted card we're playing. And we both knew the other kind of had a way of generating a lot of power. So we had the same, you know, both of us had the same ability to use those cards to rescue as each other. So um, that was not an issue at all for us. So the big new character this one was Cassandra. Mm -hmm. um, I am not hating her. She's got, she is not an easy character to play, I think. And she will take some figuring out. Cabal could definitely be an interesting one with her um, in it as well. And I'm definitely gonna try that in the near future. Um, but for five points, she can really mess with your uh, your opponent. I thought I had more move mechanics and I was misthinking that. I have more mechanics to make my opponent move, mm -hmm. which can be good. And when I used mental domination at the end, that was awesome. I was I was trying to use that card, but I wasn't trying to go out of my way to use it because that's oh, that spells failure. And the gene card did not work for me this time. So we can we proved that Scott does not feel the same way about Gene as Wolverine does. It's just it's so proof. Sad. You you so all know sad. it now. So, <laughs> um, but no, that was fun. That was the end of this little trilogy. Um, we're actually going to do a lot more of those in the near future. Maybe not this season, but this season will probably end with episode 20 or 21. Season 3, we're probably going to do more consecutive storylines together. So two or three parters, maybe four if it's really interesting. Um, but this one I, I enjoyed doing. It was fun three-parter. We had a lot of great comments on it. Um, and uh, you'll have to, uh, you obviously have just seen how it concludes, but is it all over with? Who knows? These are never over with. Even when, even if everyone was dead, it's still not over because this is Marvel and uh, anything can happen. So any final thoughts on this game? Not really, my brain kind of hurts. Yeah, it. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. But that was, no, that was a great game, a great way to finish it. I think we, uh, we played, you know, both of us played a really solid game. Hopefully you didn't make any mistakes or minimal. Uh, and hopefully you all enjoyed it. So next game, I think we're looking at A-Force versus Spider-Foes. Uh, we had one person ask if uh, they could, you could play Jean Grey in A-Force. And we now have all four of these new Spider-Foes, so Carnage, Mysterio, Craven, and Lizardman. Uh, so we're gonna figure out how that's gonna work. But uh, I think that's our next game. I think so. We've also got some very cool things lined up for the future, so stay mm -hmm. tuned. I feel like there's so many things we want to do. We've got a lot of plans. We've got at least three or four specialty games kind of set up for the future. Uh, well, once, uh, you know, we play some of the new people, we'll kind of dish those out a little bit more. So until then, uh, hope you're having a great end of summer, and we'll see you soon. Bye. All right, bye.